All right, so that's two of them on. And now I'll just do the rest of them and you get the idea. So it's uh, the next day and uh, I got both cylinder heads done. They're right there, got them all together. I got the uh, old head gaskets, I cleaned them up. I'm gonna spray them with some of this high tack, basically like the copper spray that everyone uses. And then I'm gonna get ready to uh, put the heads on the engine. I also got um, GM Performance head bolts, new ones. I didn't actually buy them. Uh, well, I guess I did buy them. When I did my car uh, and I bought the uh, DOD delete kit from BTR, those came with it and I never use them because I put studs on. So uh, I figure I might as well use them, they're brand new. So let's spray these down and then we'll uh, get the heads on. I used this stuff uh, on the shit horse 5.3 when we put it together and it worked really good. This is also the kind of stuff you put, um, when you put your drag radials on, you don't want to use rim screws. You put this on the tire and the uh, and the rim, and that'll keep the tires from turning in the rim instead of having to put a rim screw in. We use it all the time, it works really good. Just like that. Let that dry, and then I'll flip them over and do the other side. So, I'll just lay this on here. Fancy uh, red paint. This one. I mean, really, the heads will fit on both. You know, they're the same on both sides, except this one already has the coolant temp sensor in it on the one side. So. Like that. Then these new bolts already have some kind of sealant on them. Which is good. Get all the bolts in, and then uh, once both heads are on, then I can torque them all down. I'll go get the other gasket and we'll put the other head on. And here's the other gasket. Like that. The other side afterwards I just back them off a little bit to make sure they weren't there wasn't really any torque on them. Not that, that probably would matter. It would just be this gun too. And uh, then on the other side I just uh, backed it off a tiny bit and then made sure it was on. Oh, this is the one other one that was kind of being weird. Alright and then got the little one. Let's go here. I can't remember, I know the little ones are 22 foot pounds. I don't remember what the visuals are, I have to look it up. Alright, there we go. So that's the heads on. Now they just need to be torqued. I'm going to check uh, push rod length. I have some uh, 7.4 push rods. I ended up putting a little bit longer, 25 foot longer ones in my car after I had it running. So I have a set of, uh, from BTR, Molly, nice one. So I'll end up putting those in. I'm pretty sure, I mean, most people say that 7.4 is good. So I'll just double check them and then clean the rockers and put them on. And the engine is basically ready to go in except for the oil pan, which is going to be next. And then painting the engine and getting it back in. All right, so now it's time to torque the heads. I have one of these angle finder things but it's so stupid to use so i just looked on uh sloppy mechanics i watched one of his videos he said he torques them to 65 foot pounds so they tell you to do it in three so i'm going to do it in three i'll go 20 22 or whatever 40 and 65 so here we go these are new head bolts too oh, shit. Good 
pretty quality controls. Yeah, right? good thing you're watching. Get on the next. Dandy putting in work. Told that I brought my snap on clicker. Fuck that. Never have a gasket issue. Never have a gasket issue now. Blow the fucking bolts right off the block before we. You gonna have a case for that thing? Yeah, I just throw it in the toolbox. What do you mean? That's the case for it. This is the case it's had for. 30 years are our old thing. Okay. Okay. I can't really read 65 on here, so I'm just going to 70. Well, Give her a little extra anyway. Always round up. Yeah. And a little, well, a little extra anyways, because who knows if this is a little oh, out of. Uh, well, you should have brought that torque wrench up to room temperature. Like, I don't know why they have to have that angle finder. Why can't they just say 46? So stupid. That angle finder thing would take me half an hour to get it working right. You use that on what? On the didn't you? Yeah, for the rod bolts and that. But I mean, like I said, basically after I tightened them, I checked them and they were like, whatever pounds, right? Then I was like, all right, well, then I'll just next time I tighten them, I'll tighten them to that. Click. Click. And then, like I said, these ones, you go, there's an order for them. 22 foot pounds on the little ones. I just need the little burger thing. You're going to lose torque once you start extending it out. What? Oh. I didn't, now you're confusing me. You're talking things that you're saying from your mouth. Science, Science is, is everywhere. Computers are everywhere. Robots are everywhere. So Tom Green, uh, and that's it. We're gonna set this bitch in this weekend. Maybe. Next, uh, clean up the rockers, put the push rods in, check push rod length. I'm gonna check push rod length to make sure it's good. Alright, so now I'm just gonna throw the push rods in. Like I said, these are uh, 7.4 chromoly. They're actually the ones I bought from my Nova that I ended up changing, so might as well use them in here. Rocker stands on. And the rocker's on. I now I put the valve covers back on and I cleaned them up and I also masked off areas that uh, I don't want paint to get on and so uh, that's gonna be it for this video today uh, hopefully in the next video I'll be painting the engine and getting it back in the truck so uh, thanks for watching and I'll check you later